Crypto wallet firm DFNS says Magic Links have critical vulnerability. Affected services say they were given barely any notice before DFNS published its blog post detailing the so-called zero day. Some Magic Links, a passwordless sign-in method embraced by a growing number of crypto wallets and web apps, have a critical vulnerability, according to the crypto wallet startup DFNS. DFNS offers wallet services and is backed by firms including White Star Capital, Hashed, Susquehanna, Coinbase Ventures, and ABN Amro. A magic link is a unique, one-time use URL that is generated by a website or app to authenticate a user without requiring them to enter a password. When a user clicks on a magic link sent to them by a web app, it verifies their identity and logs them into their account. Initially spearheaded by Slack and other popular web apps, magic links have become an increasingly common sign-in method for crypto wallets. Instead of requiring users to remember a complex key or seed phrase, magic links are promoted as a quicker, simpler, and safer way to log in. But DFNS says magic links which can be implemented differently from app to app are often vastly less secure than more traditional sign-in methods. DFNS categorizes the vulnerability it discovered as a zero-day exploit so severe as to essentially render magic links toxic for developers. Given the ubiquity of magic links beyond just crypto wallets they are used by some popular password managers, for example, DFNS said in a statement that the vulnerability could pose a considerable risk to a substantial portion of the global economy. Services impacted by the vulnerability, however, significantly downplayed its risk to Coindesk, calling it a more benign, albeit still worrisome, breed of phishing attack. Multiple popular wallets, moreover, complained that DFNS gave them as little as three days' notice before rushing to publicize their findings, while short of commonly accepted standards for vulnerability disclosure. They added, moreover, that DFNS has a vested interest in disparaging passwordless wallet services. DFNS business model involves safeguarding crypto passwords for its customers. While not everyone agreed with DFNS characterization of the severity of its findings, individuals who spoke to Coindesk noted that the findings did highlight how some growth-obsessed cryptocurrency companies have prioritized convenience over security in a bid to attract users. Back in the early 2000 seconds, usernames and passwords were constantly compromised. But today we have two-factor authentication. OTP one-time passwords and other more secure sign-in methods, Web3 Auth CEO Zhen Yuyang told Coindesk. Web3 Auth offers a passwordless sign-in service that was vulnerable to the DFNS discovered exploit. The crypto industry is very much still using single-factor seed phrases single-factor authentication. Hijacking magic links. In a demonstration over Zoom, DFNS Chief Information Security Officer Sizo Dr. Samer Faisal showed how a hacker can hijack popular magic link crypto wallet services using just a user's email address. Using a fresh coin desk burner wallet as a test, Dummy Faisal demonstrated how a hacker could send a magic link that appeared and was, in a sense, genuine. The link came from the wallet service's real email address and clicking on it logged into the Coindesk burner wallet. But when Faisal shared his screen, he showed that by clicking on the link, Coindesk had inadvertently given him full access to its wallet, with two DNFS lawyers on the line. Apparently to attest to the fact that DFNS was not actually hacking Coindesk, Faisal agreed to repeat his attack on another passwordless crypto wallet service. In both of his demonstrations, Faisal not Coindesk initiated the sign-in request that triggered a magic link email. If a user receives a login email without actually trying to log into a service, this is typically a phishing red flag even if the email appears completely authentic. Faisal would not explain how he pulled the attacks off, telling Coindesk that he didn't want his methods to get into the wrong hands. He said, however, that he has personally reached out to more than a dozen companies he believes are vulnerable to the exploit and has offered to help them implement safeguards. As for users of Magic Link, wallets, the advice I would give users is to implement two-factor authentication as soon as possible if possible, said Faisal. Coindesk spoke with three of the crypto companies that DFNS identified as users of Magic Links. All of them confirmed that Faisal's findings were authentic, but they all said DFNS was overplaying its hand by calling the attack a zero-day. Magic Labs, one of the companies DFNS used in its demo, said a day later it was no longer vulnerable. Magic Labs no longer has vulnerability to this type of phishing, and to our knowledge, none of our end users have been affected, said Sean Lai, CEO of Magic Labs. We're constantly evaluating and improving the security of our platform. Zero Day or Phishing Attack Web3 Auth was the other crypto wallet service that DFNS used to demonstrate the Magic Link vulnerability to Coindesk. In the opinion of Web3 Auth's Young, the Magic Link vulnerability doesn't qualify as a more severe zero-day exploit because the user needs to click on a hijack Magic Link in order for it to work. We see this as a phishing attack, Yang told Coindesk. It's similar to a phishing attack on MetaMask, where there's a DAP decentralized app that sends a malicious transaction. The user approves it, then the user might send their tokens to a malicious address or something. 
The magic link attack fails if the user misses the hijacked email, clicks on the link after it expires, or finds it suspicious that they'd been sent a magic link when they hadn't tried to log in. As to this last point, Faisal says that an attacker could strategically time the link to arrive around when a user might be expected to log into the target service. Yang told Coindesk that Web3 auth has safeguards to prevent phishing, though he admitted that these safeguards weren't enough to fend against Faisal's vulnerability. To Web3 auth's credit, however, the firm has text at the bottom of its magic link email specifying the IP address that initiated a sign-in attempt. In Faisal's demonstration, his hijacked magic link came from a different IP address than Coindesk's and easy to miss hint that the link was fraudulent even though the email came directly from Web3 auth. Yang said Web3 Auth would implement additional anti-phishing methods in light of Faisal's research. Sequence, a Web3 development platform that offers a passwordless crypto. Wallet told Coindesk that it put safeguards in place that rendered the DFNS discovered vulnerability ineffective. For Sequence, I don't think it's as bad at all, said Peter Kiltika, CEO at Horizon, the company that builds Sequence. But you know, yeah, for some other products, I think they could take additional measures. Peter accused DFNS of exaggerating the severity of the magic link. Vulnerability is a marketing stunt.